today we're gonna try to find out if there's an actual balanced Kai'Sa deck in this game. So if you watched the video I uploaded yesterday or if you've played any Runeterra at all the past few weeks, you will know that Kai'Sa is pretty powerful. But that's not really because of Kai'Sa herself. And like I said in that video yesterday, I think Kai'Sa herself is kind of fine. The problem comes from copying Scout when you combine her with Demacia. So what I'm gonna try to do for this deck is play Kai'Sa with Victor, who is another keyword machine. And you have to do a little bit more work to actually get those keywords so you can copy them with Kai'Sa. So I like to think that this is a fair way to play Kai'Sa. I don't know if that's actually true because obviously cards like Supercharge, cards like Quicksand, Ride of Negation and Hourglass are still super strong. But you know, if you can't copy Scout, then how powerful is Kai'Sa really going to be? And that's what we're going to find out in this video. But before we get into the gameplay, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is basically a huge online community where you can learn pretty much any skill you could ever want to. Last month, I started my journey on Skillshare and learned some new editing techniques for Premiere Pro. And well, I'd like to think that some of that knowledge is already starting to show with some of the recent videos. If you'd like to get better at editing or planning scripts for your videos, Skillshare is the place to be. And because I'm working hard to take my videos to the next level, I've also started some After Effects classes. This one by Jake Bartlett is definitely a recommendation. So by using my link below, you can get one month unlimited access for free. And it's not just editing on Skillshare. They have something for everyone. So if you're ready to start learning that skill you've always wanted to, this is your chance. Click my link below, sign up and get started today. Okay, now let's get into some gameplay. All right. Game one is against TF and Nami. Chat on the screen, that's your word. Okay, so again, we're gonna try to find out if Kai'Sa is as strong as people make her out to be when she's not paired with Scout. I'm excited because again, I, I like Star Guardian Kai'Sa. She's just really unfair to play against in uh, the Demacia deck where it just feels like an OTK deck. The fact the Masha even has anything that could resemble an OTK deck is kind of crazy. Kind of felt like that was always the opposite of what she tried to do. Man, these all suck. It's an awesome day for progress. Oh, there's another one. Friend. <laughs> oh, wait. That, well, I mean, you know, if we could actually get there. That'd be pretty good. Uh, so this is the SI version, so we can't really jam this on our 2-1. Reggie's your arch nemesis, even if he's on your team? Yep. Yeah, no, he is. <laughs> yeah, that- Ooh, that's already a pretty rough start. We don't have any early- early game. Malzacor, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Love the bids. Keep up the good work, SNNUY love. Thank you so much. Apparently the enemy sees your board change when you click the gems if you want to distract them. Really? Wait, they see this? I could have sworn they didn't. Okay, that, that, that's, that's good information. That's great information, actually. Mogwai hates it. <laughs> Mogwai complain about it in his video? What? Dude, I would love it. I would try to make like... I would try to have a conversation with my opponent, man. <laughs> oh no, it's created. Wait. It's one mana spell shield removal into Vengeance. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we can attack here because... Uh, well, actually... Yeah, okay. I actually uh, kind of played into uh, the, the plus two, plus two ephemeral thing. Spell shield. I mean, we're not blocking either way. Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder, maybe I should have played this and then if opponent tried to vengeance, we could write this. Okay. 
Okay. Stuff. Uh, we could actually, uh... Yeah, let's, let's play this. I like having, like, a, a little target here to, uh... To help Kaisa. Yeah, sure, let's pass. This deck is not easy to play, in my opinion. Yeah, let's see if we can just level Kaisa like this, but she will probably die the turn she comes down. I would lead Scout. Yeah, Scout is what makes... Like, Scout plus stuff like Cataclysm makes Kaisa really, really powerful. Oh, we got Quick Attack down. Oh, okay, Kaisa so decks are hard to play. I believe that. I haven't really played her much myself in the Dimasha deck. I don't think I've tried it once, even. I think we play her anyway, right? The first star! There we go! It's Star Guardian! I've not played Kaisa since, like, the first and second day, but man, I, I missed these voice lines already. <laughs> uh, so, I... I I think we can actually do this. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, see you later, Rudini. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, of course. Of course. Alright. Yeah, so uh, we just did the Shurima thing with right. Um, I mean, yeah, you know. If we were playing Demacia right now, she would have Scout. And then it would actually be DG. So yeah, you know. There is that. I mean, again, the purpose of this is finding out if Kai's is balanced once he's not played with Scout. That's that's what we're trying to do, okay? That's what we're trying to do. Uh, and you know, we, we probably lose to these two ones. <gasps> That's elusive. Uh. So if we just kill this, is there a chance we can win, or do we just lose? Right now, the answer we have is this. Actually, yeah, I think that's enough. I don't think we win by uh, vengeancing this. And now, if we're real high rollers, we we simply get elusive on Victor. One thing I am pretty curious about is actually like the popularity of Rune Terror right now because I feel like there were a ton of people watching Rune Terror on stream when the new expansion released. But now it feels like it's uh pretty low. I think this is still pretty rough, but sure. We, we, we might we might lose. Hey, so Nistalia, Zix, Landmark, still goodness meta. I climbed to Diamond with it, so. I remember we were 2k. Yeah, that's when that's when the expansion was just releasing. Nelson is lethal. Yeah, I think it is. They never have it. They never, they never have Telstones. Come on, chat. Never have it. What, what even is a Telstone? 15 damage from Elusive? Is this Ionia? Yeah, it might as well be, right? Listen, we're trying to do an unfair thing with Kai'Sa, but we're we're not really OTKing. They had two of them, chat. Wiggly Burblefish created this card. Well, that's just magnificent, isn't it? That that's that's oh. Okay, well that's Welcome to Ruterra. See, this is what I mean, chat. We're trying to do an unfair thing. But it, it never really matters when the opponent tries to do something that's even more unfair and they can do it faster. They they were able to do it one turn before us, so we lost. Losing yeah, is okay. that's it is what it is. <laughs> Vengeance was better. Um, it blocked the same amount of damage, technically. I was also bluffing four spell mana that way, but they didn't matter.
The Absorb will always remind you that one ranked game. I got gatekept from Masters last season because of Absorb Soul. <laughs> hey, I'm not good at English, but I love your new video. Thank you so much for that. And Red Leonard, currently just not a big fan of the meta right now. Yeah, I feel the same way. All right, can, just keep the lifesteal for next turn, please. I like lifesteal against aggro decks. Quick attack, overwhelm. Right. Is anyone a fan of the meta right now? I mean, probably. I'm probably gonna get some comments that aren't aren't very nice on my video, and then you'll see. How much people actually enjoy the meta. It, it's probably mostly going to be uh, Kai'Sa and Joyers, I guess. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge Here's some tough. Uh, a stun is, is not good, but we can play this. Yeah. We seek forgiveness, we must commit all. So we're taking... As I have we're blocking this. Okay, so they want to level the Annie. Are they going to be able to... What if we just tag the Annie right now? Is there any way they play two skills? I think they're... Not necessarily there isn't. Just wait for Riot to flame me because they like the meta. Um, sure. Well, one interesting thing about that is actually... Um, this post that Dan Felder made. The, the post Dan Felder made talked about how they like to receive feedback. And that actually helped me quite a bit of sh on shaping the video. Because I tried to be constructive for the most part. I don't play PvP that much because of meta being born right now. I craft decks only to play with my friend and have fun with them. Other than that, just Path of Champions. Yeah, that's, that's great. So uh, that's a good way to play. Probably had a lot of stuns, but we're doing kind of okay, honestly. We're kind of chilling. Good post to be honest. Yeah, did, I didn't even know that Dan Felder was part of the Rune Terror team. But he he's cracked. He, he's really good with words, and he really made me feel very good about the game. Oh, that's good. Oh, last card is Jin. No way. Okay, that's less good. Still uh, pretty doable with the right negation here, though. What did Dan Felder do before LOR? I, I checked out some of... Uh, I checked out his Twitter profile. Um, I don't know what games he played, but I know he's been... talking about design for a long time. Of course I'm ready. I was born in Beldeth. I cannot leave. Koyemi, I told you to leave! And leave all these wasters to you? No way! Nine. So Jin, I believe, levels, but we have a very convenient right of negation here. The ads, God, I really need to be better at these ads. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I, I need to be better at the when I do ads. I don't need. That. Is it not? Yeah, that's that's a high value, right? Frame Zex, thank you so much for the prime sub. Dot. Three months. Dot. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh. Sure. Uh, that seems that seems all right. That seems pretty good. This right of negation card is pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> if you if you want to hear my thoughts on that, go watch the video. As we just saw in this game, Kaisa is the problem. Yeah, it's it's Kaisa. It's not Shurima. True. So based on the video, basically I should just play Kaisa the Masha and climb infinitely. Uh, that's not entirely the point. No, I wouldn't say that's what the video is trying to say. 
Um, there are the decks that are good right now try to do a powerful thing. If you play against a deck that does their powerful thing before you can do your powerful thing as Kaisa, I am back from vacation you're still to give you my prime. Cruz Kahlo. Thank you so much for two months. Uh, so yeah, the, if you're playing against a deck that does their powerful thing before you, then you're not gonna win. But on the other hand, if you are talking about Shurima and how consistent they make these type of strategies, then absolutely. You're gonna you're gonna feel pretty happy. Come on. I kinda like Toph. Sure. Tough, Fury. Two scout units. That's double tough, that kind of sucks. We love it when they run. I can't shoot the bird when they have five mana. What do we have? Three of quick attack, fearsome. With utmost efficiency. Is a little awkward. A mistake is the first step to improving. <laughs> uh, this is a problem. Now if this Gets buffed for a while. Okay, so now it does die to the Mystic Shot. Kaiser just comes down next turn, has Scout and Tough. Oh, that kinda sucks. Bell Shield, Tough. What the hell? We're just we're just rotating between two keywords. <laughs> There's still time. It has to be. It has to be. We can kind of negate this turn, to be honest. Yeah. We still have 4-4, four, four, so we just do this. No scout for you. Click jam to distract opponent. <laughs> this is a next level strategy, dude. <laughs> I like that. Alright, give me something to act- wait, actually, I think they're active already. There we go. End of the freaking world, huh? Let's go. All right, we kind of need our Kaisa. Hello there. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up when I asked for her. <laughs> uh, yeah, I still need to be careful for um, Cataclysm. <laughs> It's too light. No, I know what they are. I know. What I know they what they are. <laughs> All right, boom. Let's go. It'd be so great if we get a turn to copy Victor, but I, I have a feeling we're not gonna get there. I have, I have a suspicion. There we go. Yeah, it's always kind of uh, It's kind of sad because now we also lose. Uh... This is why the Demacia version is so strong. We we have a muscular unit here with, with the scout that we've been trying to kill, and then we also have to deal with their strike spells, right? It's very very powerful. Uh, so now we also get blown out by a quicksand. Oh god, they have it, don't they? Oh, okay. That's that's basically the same thing, actually. Never mind. <laughs> Here it is, Chad. Here's why Kaisa's problematic. We got forked. There, there was nothing we could have really done there to change the outcome of this match. Because of Hourglass, 
Uh, it could even be quicksand, and they had two scout units that we had to deal with. And now, next turn, they're also gonna have supercharge, which I don't think really matters that much. We do have this, though. Maybe that matters. Tough is not bad. I think we can survive. I'll show you how to fight. Okay, if that's the best I can do, I'm not super worried just yet. Does Victor die? No. Time to burn you away. This is my turn. I'm kind of down for that, sure. Still, like, a little... Wait, is this like the third or fourth time we get tough this game? It's just all been tough. It's way easier to kill Kaisa if you just know what she is. <laughs> uh, I know what they are. What do you have? Impact, tough. I I'm kind of down to say go this turn. We drop this next turn. We try one more roll with Victor. They have three cards in hand. It's either like Rally, Second Cataclysm. Okay. That's kind of fine, I think. We still have a pretty powerful turn here. We're just going to go for as much damage as we can. Kind of sucks that this dies, so I'm not going to lie. Kind of sucks that... It kind of sucks that opponent played Cataclysm, cleared our board, and dealt like seven damage to us. I think that's not that's not really optimal. You wasters came a long way for a whooping. All right, let's see if that works. It has challenger. Ugh. So yeah, the, theirs is stronger because it has uh, it has scout. Okay, at least we can kill that. Is there a way for lethal here? If we do this? Minus eight. I think we just killed a Kaiso then, right? And then we get really sad about Hourglass. Yeah, it's two machine guns, but their theirs has more ammo than, uh, than us. I think we're just dead to this. They don't have second Kaisa because they use supercharge. That's like the one the one thing to take comfort in. Okay, we drew our hourglass, but this will just kill us. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, we're dead. Yeah. So here it is, Chad. Here, here's here's the video that I just made. Literally this. This is the epitome of what just happened in that video. This is why Rune Terra. It's slightly frustrating to play right now. This right here. Time to burn you away. We did almost outplay them, to be honest. We, like, we're playing like a strictly worse Kaiser deck, and we almost beat them at their own game, but they had three Kaisers. Du double Cataclysm is just quite powerful. Was Alan, what is RMTing? What does exclamation mark lurk do? Uh, not a whole lot. It's just like uh, announcing that you're you have to stream open. You're kind of watching, but you're busy doing something else. Real money trading? Oh, so basically he would provide services in game and people would pay him for it. Is that I, I I've never really done stuff like that or been into that those type of games enough to know about that <coughs> maybe you don't need hassling in a deck because you already have pearson i don't know if i want to kill this no Uh, I... I think we just deny it. 
Well, we deny plunder as much as we can, I guess. They got it anyway. We can give a uh, challenger to Kaisa. Okay. No team of value for you. I, it's mostly to deny the plunder. Because I know they're going to try to do powerful stuff if they get plunder. You pay real money and they give you gold? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So he's the one that pays money for stuff? Or the other way around? Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. That didn't do a whole lot. By the way, they paid him money. Right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gonna make a meal of them. Oh, it's a pretty good steal. Guys. It's about the only one that actually does anything against Kaisa. What's up, Shavu? We'll that is kind of powerful, but we have a second Kaisa. I don't think they run Harpoon. I never my sources. Man, if she gets double attack for that, that'd be great. Oh, wait, Fade up actually proc. Scruffy, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, okay. Yes, of course. We need something good here. Overwhelm. That kind of worked, I guess. The first star would have played so brightly without the dark. Only I can burn the darkness away. I played a deck as of late. It feels like you do nothing but end up winning. Yeah, it's the Powder Pandemonium. I, I've played a ton of monkey decks. I know how powerful it can be. I love these decks. They're quite strong. They can be quite strong. If they have Void Abomination, they can still win because it will have Spell Shit and Elusive. Right. <laughs> it, it, they have a pretty wide board here. It's it's somewhat worrying. We don't even kill anything right now. Oh! Lurked! Hey, yo. <laughs> Say your farewells. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're lurking? All right, uh, whew. we kind of need a right of negation, so the card below the Zerside kind of has to be a right, I guess. You had a triple Maker Rain? Disgusting. Oh no, are we dead? Uh oh. I'm a little worried. Don't wait. They don't. Do they run Riptide Rex? Uh, just in case a Riptide will play this. Another way to fight. I'll give you that. Hey, if you can't beat them, shoot them with their own crap. Okay. Strong don't want mercy. I played this just for Rex. I think we win, right? Okay, I think we would have lost to a Powder Pandemonium there. Actually, their board was pretty full the entire time, I'm not sure. Alright, whatever, GG. I actually missed the double elusive, but... Whatever, GG. GG. Great video, Sonny. I feel like Kindred is severely underplayed at the moment, and it's only partially due to my bias. She is pretty underplayed, yeah. You, you, you want to play a 4-mana four 4-3 four that does something at a round end? That's just no good right now. Look at this fair Kaiser deck. That's what I'm saying. It's fair. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, we'll draw. I wanted to use 
this to just draw cards next turn, but we can't really do that anymore. Regeneration. Sure. I just enjoy to play champs that I enjoy in League and dislike champs that I dislike in League as well. That's that's fair. That is fair. I I use I used to not really care about uh, Victor. I used to not care about him in League, but then I started playing him in Runeterra, and I, I quite enjoy him right now. I think he's very fun. I think we can activate her next turn. So we play Kaisa here. We play Kaisa, we give Supercharge here and she's level. We're doing exactly what makes the Masha Kaisa pretty strong right now, except this is not a scout unit. That's the only thing. Hide for a moment. Run for it. Gotta hit them hard. Hit them hard. Star Guardian here. The first star. Final Lucifer instead. You make a good point. Elusive would have been good. Would Elusive have been better? Next strike. I think she'd be chump block though. This gives us more chance to board clear. They need time. Um. No, you're right. That could have been better. That could have been better. I must time to burn you away. The hunter approaches. Form a Hearthstone player, but I don't really like where the game is going, and I hope LOR won't do the same. Oh, so yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be comparable to what Hearthstone does, because Hearthstone is just entirely different in how it's played, right? Uh, with the... You, you take individual turns, and there's no counterplay for either player until their turn is over. In Runeterra, it's all about interaction, so that makes taking away that interaction really frustrating. The hate for a loser is so big you didn't even think about it? Exactly, yeah. I'm, I'm just really pure, you know? Very pure in how I play this game. Oh, pretty wide. Minus seven. All right, well, that's like nothing. Another way to fight. I'll give you that. Hey, if you can't beat them, shoot them with their own crap. Wouldn't it have been better to do that first? Okay. Yeah, so we will, I guess, just give this here. Uh, it'll be able to draw a card with the Overwhelm. That seems good. I think we just win. J just Kaisa things, right? It's the Elusive card on Ezra. I think that's Echo. Or it's supposed to be something Echo uses. I believe. Actually, it's probably better to give it here, right? It already has Overwhelm and has Spell Shield. It's the same thing. GG. Yeah, GG, I guess. GG, I guess. Elusive yuck. 